Brown said, you guys really are aiming to win the flag. Is that very much the feeling in the group? I know you've won one final, but you're aiming for big things. Yeah, no doubt. I don't think every side that's still alive this time of year, um, somewhere in the back of their mind, they're thinking the bigger picture. And having said that, we've got a really good challenge uh, this weekend against Sydney, and, and we look forward to that. But but definitely um, our focus all year has been to prepare, prepare a side and prepare a style of footy that would um, be able to compete deep into September. Sure, well, I guess you and Jared were seen as the, the missing pieces to the puzzle. Did you feel a bit of an extra pressure going in last week? No, not really. I think first final, MCG, Richmond, big crowd. I think everyone felt felt a little bit of pressure. I didn't feel any more pressure that I needed, to, or Jared and myself needed to you know, do anything special to win a game. It was, it was about what we've been able to do all year and play that role. And, you know, he was fantastic on the weekend. I think it was, a, probably besides himself and Boomer, it was a really even contribution from, from everyone. And, um, you know, we need that week in and week out to compete against the really good sides. And um, hopefully this weekend as well, we get the same. Do you think the you're in the group quarter. more relaxed going into this week than last week? A few less nerves, isn't it? Monkey off the back almost, the first final? Oh, no, I wouldn't say the monkey off the back. I mean, like I said, we've got grand plans for the biggest scheme of things. So, um, you know, by, by no means was last week our grand final. I think the first final always holds a little bit of extra nerves and um, for a new team I probably felt that a little bit as well but um, you know this week probably steps up again to be honest and it's a every week now is do or die for us and um, yeah we look forward to that. Is there your poise and quiet confidence in the group is there a particular I guess guy that's instilled that in you in recent weeks have you had a chat from someone or is it Brad sort of influence where are you guys sort of getting this uh, optimism from? I think our performance that we've been able to do in um, stages throughout the year, early on was really patchy and we were inconsistent. thought the second half of the year probably didn't play exactly the way that we wanted, but we, we showed in games, especially the Fremantle game, that we were able to grind out performances and wins, and I think that's um, shown sides of, of what teams need to do in finals, and we are able to do that again on the weekend. It wasn't a five, ten minute patch, which we were probably doing early in the year to win games. It was um, knuckle down and, and get the job done over three, three, four quarters. It's a fair hit by Dylan Grimes. Were you worried about the ribs at the time? Uh, not, not as worried as I was trying to get some get air back into the lungs, <laughs> but... Um, yeah, he just got me in a, a good spot, and um, you know he went he went hard at it as well. So it was, uh, yeah, it was a good hit, but it was a not a great 10 or 15 seconds post that. Sure, well, given the club made a prelim last year, has there been talk about the fact if you don't replicate it this time round, then maybe it's a bit of a failure? Uh, no, we haven't spoken about failure in terms of that. Um, but like I said before, I think all of us are, are really keen to go to go deep uh, this final series, and our performance on the weekend, like I said, showed that we can match it. With the better sides, and, and this weekend there's probably no bigger challenge against a quality Sydney outfit. The successful recruiting of mature guys like you and Jared, a story in itself. Are you sort of proud of the fact that when Brad and uh, while she came to see you and presented this vision, that you sort of you're in the process of carrying it out? Uh, I think Jared and myself are happy, first of all, to be able to probably fulfil the faith that the club showed in us and get us across, and um, they outlined the vision, like you said, and, and a role for us to play. And um, you know, I think we've been able to live up to that. And it's uh, yeah, the serious end of the season now, and um, you're both wrapped that we've been able to play the role that um, the club hoped we would. I think it's clearly your best season. I think it's probably most consistent season. I've said that a couple of times. Um, obviously, no injuries helps that as well. Um, the role that I'm playing, and also I've just been able to get my body in good physical condition to be able to perform that role. Um, and the game's too hard now to go into a season a little bit underdone. Did you do anything special in pre-season? A lot of people talk about how well you went before the year started. No, I was just able to have no surgery at the end of last year. Obviously, where I came from, didn't play finals, so I was probably four weeks ahead of the boys here, given that they played in the prelim. I was able to get a lot of work in, really good program that we put in place leading up until Christmas, and uh, yeah, just gave myself an opportunity to be able to play consistently. Have you ever been fitter, mate? You weren't this fit at dogs, or...? Yeah, it's hard, to, it's hard to compare. Probably at stages I was, but like I said, that gets interrupted with injuries. So uh, fortunately, I haven't um, had any little setbacks this year and uh, you know that goes a long way to be able to play consistent footy. You've obviously played in some prelims at the Dogs. Can you cons- I know it's hard to compare groups, but do you feel this group's at a, a similar stage? Yeah, the game's a lot different to what it was six or seven years ago when I played in prelims, but um, I think we've got the experience that we had back then. Um, you know, sometimes... It feels like we've moved the footy pretty similar to the way that we moved it back then as well. But um, yeah, the game's a lot different. The defence side of the game stepped up. The contested footy, which I think we hang our hat on as well here, has been, has been great and it was really good on the weekend. So um, hopefully can draw a little bit from the experiences that I've had, but um, probably different, different tales in terms of the sides. 
Beautiful. Thanks.